Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be looking at generating layouts from 3D models. So as you can see on this opening page here, uh, we've got uh, a shape that I've created uh, two-dimensionally. And then if I uh, go to a different view, so if I go to this view now, uh, and then turn on uh, what I've called my object layer, you can see there that I've already done a lot of hard work uh, in creating and generating this shape that you can see here on the screen, this object here. So the question now is, how do we go from this uh, 3D model that we've created and generated and produced, and how do we turn this into uh, a layout drawing such as we might be able to work from? So if we uh, go to our layout tab, as you can see at the moment, what we've got is uh, just a view of uh, the object itself. So this works in a very similar way to uh, what we would have in uh, two-dimensional space. So we can uh, do all the functions that we can do if we click into model space here. So this would be great if we just wanted to produce uh, a drawing of uh, this object that looked like something like this. But obviously uh, when it comes to producing a proper layout drawing that's not going to be very much use to us. So we'll get rid of that. Now bear in mind please, uh, if you've watched a previous video in this series uh, about two-dimensional layouts, uh, then that will come in very handy when it comes to laying out borders and putting in title blocks uh, and things like that. We're not going to go over that again uh, in this video, uh, but what we will do is look at how we can get uh, this object into our paper space uh, and lay it out the way that we want it to be. So that's what we'll do now. So the first thing that we want to do is to set our drawing to produce either a third angle or a first angle projection drawing. So if we come here uh, to the ribbon and select the home tab and then come along here to where we've got the view uh, panel here and click that arrow, it brings up the drafting standard dialog. Now this is where we can select our projection type, either first angle or third angle. I want my drawing to be in third angle, so I'm going to select that. And we can also select how the thread style will appear. Uh, on our drawings. So I'm quite happy with the way that is. So I'll click OK on that. And now the drawing that I produce will be in uh, third angle projection. So if I select here base and drop that down, it gives me two options, either pre introducing uh, the base view from model space or from inventor. Obviously here we've created it in model space. So we'll select that. And as you can see, what it does is it gives us our uh, optional views here. So we click to place that down click OK and then it will give us the option uh, to place other views as well so it can look something like that. Now the other very clever thing about this is once you've got your uh, drawings laid out the way you want them uh, what you can then do is create uh, different views depending on where you move your mouse that show an isometric view of your drawing. Now obviously what we've got here, so click space because I'm happy with that, this isn't a particularly useful view of the drawing as such and this isn't quite laid out the way that I want it. So what I can do now is I can start to project from here other alternative views. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrap that, so let's get rid of that and get rid of that and get rid of that one and I'm going to use this view as kind of my starting point. So if I bring that down to that position, what I'll then do is click here and this takes me straight to the drawing view tab and then if I select projected view from the uh, create view panel what it does is it projects from this and gives us other optional views now I'm a little bit happier with this so if I collect, click here like that and click here like that that's going to give me the two views that I want so that's going to be my top view and my end view and then uh, when I move the mouse over at 45 degrees from my original drawing it gives me a much nicer isometric view there that I quite like. So I'll hit space to end. And obviously this is laid out a little bit randomly at the moment. Obviously we could use uh, the normal commands to get these so that they're perfectly spaced. I'm just gonna move these around uh, quickly here so that we can uh, just crack on with the video. So you can see here we've got our projected views uh, from our model, which is really good. And what's nice is it automatically fills in all of your hidden detail for you. Uh, and you can then start to modify these views here. Now one thing just to think about, these uh, types of layout are fantastic for what we want, so they're really nice, uh, but what I'm not entirely happy with is this view. 
I don't really want this view to be in the same style as these ones. So if I select this one uh, and then uh, click edit view here, what it does is it brings up uh, this editing uh, panel here on the ribbon. And then if I come here to hidden lines and drop this down, I can change the way that that looks. So I can put in visible lines only. So that looks a little bit better because that's just showing then uh, a much cleaner isometric view of that because all of the information for sizes and stuff will be drawn from these views. This is just to give us an, an idea of what it will actually look like uh, in an isometric view. Or we can select uh, visible and hidden lines which takes us back to similar to what we had before. Shaded with visible lines so that one's quite nice. And then we can select shaded with visible and hidden lines. So obviously again that's starting to look a little bit messy again. So a nice view for that is just to go shaded with visible lines. Uh, tell it that's OK. Click OK. And now we've got our lovely uh, drawing. OK. Another really nice thing that you can do on this uh, option when we're editing. This has automatically produced our uh, drawings here to a certain scale. So if I want to change the scale of this, Again, if I go to edit view, as you can see here, we've got one to four. And what we can do is we can change this now. We can change this to one to two, so that makes it a little bit bigger. Or we could change it to one to eight, which makes it a little bit smaller. And again, if we were to do that on all of these, then it all follow the same scaling, which can be quite handy. So you don't have to stick to the first scale that you're given on the drawing. Okay, so uh, I want to go back to what it was originally. So that's our one to four view from parent. And there's another number of other options here that we'll discuss in, uh, in future videos. So we're quite happy with the way that that's laid out now. So something just to look out for is at this point, what's happened is that AutoCAD has automatically produced uh, these different layer properties. So what you've got to think about as well is do these values match what you would want your uh, drawing to be finally? Okay, so do you want your hidden lines to be 0.35? Do you want your visible lines to be... Uh, 0.5. Just have a little look at those uh, and a play around with those and change them just as you would do if you were going to create uh, a normal drawing uh, in 2D model space. I've already got uh, object and outline views, uh, which uh, layers rather, which are included uh, in my uh, model space view. And I've also created a center lines layer and a dimensions layer. Now, obviously, uh, hopefully, we're familiar with how to create these from a previous video, but if not, please feel free to uh, check that video out from uh, my YouTube channel. So what we'll do now, because again, where this varies a little bit, where this changes a little bit from uh, producing uh, a 2D drawing in CAD, what we now need to do is start adding dimensions, but we add dimensions in paper space. So we're going to put dimensions on here instead of in model space. So let's go to our, uh, first of all, we'll put some center lines on. So we'll go to our center lines layer, go to our annotate tab, and put in some center marks. So let's put that as a center mark, that as a center mark, and again, so on and so forth. You can just put in as many of these uh, as you like, uh, as is required for the drawing. I'm not gonna do them all. Uh, we can also put in center lines for where we've got uh, options that require that. So there we go, there's a center line feature. And again, all of these features have been explained in previous videos, so please feel free uh, to check those out as well. When it comes to adding dimensions, uh, we just use exactly the same functions that we have before from the annotate tab. We can create uh, new dimension styles with our dimension styles uh, option. Uh, so let's start putting some dimensions in. If I want to put the overall length of this, I'll put that there like so. Uh, obviously, I'm still working on the uh, center lines layer, so let's change that to the dimensions layer. and Let's make sure that we're working on the dimensions layer. So there we go. Uh, and again, we just continue in the same way, uh, adding dimensions as uh, we require them. So let's say we want to put a dimension there, we put one there. Now again, if you want to change the style of these, we do that in the Dimensions Manager style. Again, we've watched a previous video on that and it works in exactly the same way. So that's how we produce uh, a very simple uh, 3D, uh, how we convert a 3D model into 2D uh, layout drawings uh, and as we've said before uh, if you want to see how to create all the border and the title block and all the other bits and bobs uh, then please uh, watch the previous video.
So I hope this video has been useful and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.